Hello, my name is Maria, and today at our School of SFB, I will be painting a watercolor portrait. I start with a full-size drawing on a sketch paper. As always, I start my work from positioning the main shapes. Starting with an overall silhouette, I'm breaking it into smaller and smaller parts, one division at a time. Once I know the size and position of the head, I find the central line and make sure that all symmetrical elements like eyes and nostrils and lips are on the same level, on the same distance uh, from the center of the face. And right away I'm looking out to the torso, uh, finding where the elbows bend, uh, where the arms um, will be, and hands in the pockets. And you can see that I'm not trying to copy every single curve, but I am simplifying the lines trying to determine the angles and once I have the angles in place and overall proportions are right I can define the details later. And it's a good idea to lighten up your preliminary lines putting your razor on the side pressing lightly so now these lines will not distract me but they will help me with placement of the details. And I carefully explore every element that I will need in my work. Uh, remember that this is a sketch paper and it, the drawing will be transferred later. So I'm not afraid of um, redrawing many times the same element, trying to find the best position for it. Watercolor paper doesn't like erasing. Uh, it may damage the paper surface. So all the complex compositions are normally drawn on a sketch paper and are being transferred later. Transferred like this, you flip your drawing and you put some graphite on the back of it. You can also use just graphite paper. And then you attach it to the watercolor paper, graphite layer down, and trace it uh, with a sharp pencil or pen. Now I'm finally starting painting, uh, starting with an underpainting. Um, in this picture I can see uh, bright blue shadows, so my underpainting will be blue. Underpainting is a monochromatic rendering of the whole picture. Normally it's being done in some cool colors, like bluish-greenish, uh, bluish-grayish uh, tone, uh, because um, Traditionally, uh, the light is warm and mid-tone is cooler. Shadows are warm again and I will be entering uh, the shadows later with more concentrated object color. Here I mix some tan color for the boy's skin and very carefully, um, very smoothly, I start applying it. I remember that in some areas uh, there is direct highlight, that's where the light hits at the surface. Um, I will not be putting any color there at all. And now with the more concentrated color of the skin, I am adding um, shadows where I see them. Uh, in this case, it's going to be uh, basically burnt sienna. Now I'm adding some pink to the lips, and I also see it in the folds of the hoodie. The shadows for the hair will also be concentrated hair color, which is dark gold. And I'm starting working on the background. Um, I want some bright um, green leaves to stand out. I'm starting with them and I will let them get dry. And the last of the background will be much darker and more complex green with some additions of brown and blue. And I will let these colors run into each other so that they create a beautiful blend. I achieve this by adding way more water to my brush um, when I work on the background. I want my leaves to enter the white surface of paper and create a really nice artsy frame. Like this. And now it's time to work on the hoodie color. It's a mix of ultramarine and cobalt, uh, gorgeous blue. Um, I'm applying this color very lightly. If I rub a little bit more, I may destroy the layer of underpainting underneath. My cat spot is helping me as always. While the hoodie is drying out, I can add some shadows to the fingers and basically model them. And finally paint the pants. Now it's time for some finishing touch. Um, I'm using the very tip of my brush and very uh, little 
paint on my brush. I'm finding inconsistencies in rendering and fixing them uh, with the tip of my brush as if it was a pencil. And when I need to adjust the color, like make hair more golden, I use very, very light and soft touch. Uh, I don't want to damage the previous layer. A few more touches and my artwork is finished. Let's start working on yours. Good luck.